Welcome back guys, I've got a first generation iPad for this one, this was meant to be for 2,000 subscribers but I've been busy so this is not really in it. So this is running iOS 6, there's not much to say about it really, it's in good condition. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick video and just kind of generally toss it about a bit, see how it does. Should do quite well because it's got this big metal frame around the side. But um, I'll just scratch test first. So I'll just scrape it along the floor and down the stairs. Three, two, one. Looks like it's got some sort of like shooting star constellation to match <laughs> the shooting star in the sky. I thought it was a scratch at first. I'll do another one in the back. I don't know what's happened here, it's dug into something, but we've got a big crater. The screen's fine, obviously. So, it's five the scratch test. I'm impressed at how much it's down it in, though. Um, I'm going to go for the corners now, see what they can take. You can see the front's still working fine. There's not actually a single scratch on this tablet. Just fingerprints now. But, just side drop test on the corner. Three, two, one. It's a heavy one, so this is coming for water force. Oh my goodness. So it's actually bent in the whole bottom corner there. <laughs> um, I'll do it. Oh. I think there's a tiny wee chip in the glass there, but it's not coming through anything. There's chips around the whole border now. So I'll do another one across the whole flat edge at the bottom. Three, two, one. It's kind of survived that fine, just more scuffs. It scuffs really easy on this, to be fair. And then I'll do a high up drop test on the top left corner, which is undamaged so far. Three, two, one. This thing weighs a lot more than the new iPad. Oh. Well, I mean. That's actually not as bad as the bottom corner was. It's going to do a drop test now, random drop test. This is going to fall whatever way it wants. So just... Oh! <laughs> and I'm sitting watching it there. Listen, you can still hear it cracking. It's still working underneath. You can see the glass is all. Oh, look at that dent actually there. So the iPad's still working, it's all completely coming apart here. It's been big dents pushing in both corners, but everything's still working. Touch screen, home buttons, speakers, everything. So we're now going to get on to the ludicrous drop test. I'm just going to. Launch it as high as I can here. I'll take a few steps back from the camera lady. Right. Three, two, one. Oh, it's alive. <laughs> oh, it's taking a lot of stuff. Oh. Alive is an interesting, it, it works. I'm not in control of it anymore. Well, the screen is still on. You can still see it a bit in the video, but it's doing its own thing now. There's actually not much more damage to the iPad. It's mostly just the screen at this point. So I try not to cut myself on it. It is still working, but I'm not really in control of it anymore. I don't think anything else is really damaged, it's just the digitizer that seems to have absolutely gone metal. So I'm going to just 
toss it up again and see what happens. Three, two, one. Oh, gone over there. I mean, it's dirty now in the top corner, but other than that, it seems to just be doing the same thing. It's still just tweaking on the screen. I suppose I might as well just launch it again while I'm at it. Oh, actually, the gear is a bit of damage. The volume rocker has actually been out. <laughs> oh, the, the, the volume buttons do still work, though. So that's a bonus. Three, two, one. Oh, that's not working. Found this. <laughs> That's impressive, London. <laughs> oh, so right. Let's just peel that up. The screen has actually broken. Don't know how, because I mean, obviously. <laughs> okay, that's stupid. But like, the frame of the iPad is still there to protect it. So that means we've still got more iPad to kill. <laughs> I'll test if the volume buttons still work again. They do. <laughs> right, so just had a wee break to fix my hands, I got a bit of glass stuck in them, but it's alright. The iPad the iPad's still just kinda of tweaking as it was before, so I'll come over to this. Okay. Well <laughs> iPad's now missing glass, but the screen's still on. So I'm just gonna throw it at this hard ground here. It's it's getting progressively worse actually by the looks of things at the minute. So I'm just gonna launch it at the floor, see what damage we can do. Three, two, one. So the whole iPad is actually bent entirely. Uh, the top corner is like fully coming apart there. But the screen's still on. Oh, there's ABBA. Oh yeah, the digitizer's not there anymore. Um, let's do that again. Um, I'll aim for the same corner again, see if we can build up some damage in the same corner. Three, two, one. This corner. Again. So we're getting, this is just getting more and more bent each time. This corner's just not even remotely resembling the same shape anymore. The screen's still bugging away. I thought this is kind of how the film's going to go. It's going to get smashed and it was just going to kind of keep still being just alive. It's not got Siri, so we can't talk to it like some of the other videos I've done before, but... I thought I'd just smash it again, see if it can keep going. Three, two, one... much more of the same, I'm not quite sure what to do with this one now. Right. I'm gonna see if I can try and bend it over this panel here because this isn't breaking anymore and already was. Three, two, I mean, <laughs> it's bent but it's still just working as it was before. I'll keep going and see if I can get any more out of it. Three, two, one. It's still on. <laughs> I'll try the other way. This is how this is how I die with glass in my hands. Oh, some interesting colour. Oh, I've just switched it off. Well, I'll turn it back around and try that way again. I don't know if I can stand on it on this bottom rail. Oh, is it dead? No, it's still working. I seem to keep switching it on now. Ok, 
Okay, well that's still alive. I, d I tried. I tried my best with that idea. I thought that was maybe going to break it, but apparently right, not. Put it on top of the dot here and then try and bend it back the other way. Just by stepping on it. Can you go and hold the end of it still? Yeah. Right. Three, two, one. Coming into you, look at that. See the colours on the screen? Oh. The frame just snapped on the side there. So, fully just snapped into the volume buttons there. The top iPad's fully just... Oh! <laughs> it's now just coming apart. Oh look, you can even see the backlight going on inside the iPad. Let's bend it back the other way now. Still alive, of course. Stupid thing. This actually doesn't die. Well, oh, there's the headphone jack that's just left, but the iPad's still on. I don't know what to do with this one now. See, if this is still alive, uh, this <laughs> genuinely is still alive. She demonetized me. I don't even know. Oh, that'll be the screen done now because that's it popped out. Oh, never mind. Apparently not. Don't know what that was for. Is that it done now? No. Can I switch it on and off with the button? Just gonna bend this top bit off now. Oh. Look, you can now see. Oh, I've snapped. The entire logic board's just fully snapped there, don't know. Can you see in there? <laughs> can you see in there? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Does the button still? Oh no, the button, the button's falling out. Oh. Wait, I need to bring it back so I can plug the button in. There we go, the button's plugged back in. No, that's the iPad finally done. So, yep, first generation iPad, definitely strong, but the glass is definitely the weakest point. But thanks for watching this video. I've got another iPad there too, actually. That's gonna be the next video. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one.